per usual. Hey, I knew this car was gonna be out here today because I was listening to T.D. Jakes and some of his words was hitting on some of uh, some things off the nerves. And I was agreeing. And every time that happened, every time I pray hard, every time I give God something, every time I worship. Or either I am confirmed, and you know, anything I say in regards to them, they bring this car out right here. <laughs> and it says on the license plate, Lord, see you too. As if to say, you know, oh, you're no better than us, <laughs> baby. It's always clear when I hit a nerve. And when I, you know, when they get to feeling shame and guilt, this is a sign. A surefire sign. Look, and I knew it. I knew it. I thought about it in the house. Like, they gonna bring this car out today. I've been touching nerves. I'm one, one of those anointed children of God that's not in their place. So I call things out all the time. All the time. Because uh, if you know the word of God, you know that God's gifts are without repentance. If he's anointed you to speak, he's going to speak. If he anoints you to see in the spirit, you're going to steady see. You're just going to be troubled in it all. Because you're, you're double-minded. You're on the fence. Not necessarily denying God's power. But you're not living the life. And I am not. I fornicate, I cuss, I still go out, I hang out, I'm not what they call in the wilderness. One of it's the prodigal daughter. I'll, God's will, I come back to um, the kingdom fully. I would be considered a prodigal daughter. And I pray I can uh, get to that point before my time is up here on earth. I would hate to, you know, have the right heart. But my life didn't align. And to miss God because of that. You know? But um, I'm still this baby that's clear. Um, and he advocates for me. And he, he, he avenges me. I see it. He fights for me. I see it. So I don't even deserve God. But um, I guess in another instance, um, in a different light or perspective, I'm not one of his uh, problem children. I'm not a problem child. I don't go out to seek trouble and wreak havoc and chaos on another person's life. And, uh, I really do do right by people and, you know, I, I just try to do good, man, and, and be good and do the right thing over anything. I don't sell out or sell my soul for any reason. It's this van just past me. It's up there at the light. It says Amtec. That is Artis Martin. She has a shop called Will & Co. That's one of the gang stalkers. 
main headquarters. She has this room set up. Look. So it's um my guess that this 63 year old woman um is connected to somebody I know and has attracted attained herpes. And uh, it's on the side of um a vehicle that looks like my uncle Joe's. But it is my guess that Miss Artist Martin has her face. Um, my backup Facebook was was um, restricted. I can't post. Um, I posted some things that was pretty touchy. I know I'm friends with a lot of people who's um, gang stalkers. GWW7 like you put there's Gregory Whitman. And if you see it on the headlines all through social media that um Nelly quote unquote mistakenly leaked a video of him receiving uh fellatio Cornel. That looks like my Cornel. Y'all yeah, even heard my own uncle put me to the wall. But I sure a meme or post in regards to that. And also saying I know something about all of them. Nelly, Bequan, JD came. I wasn't specific. But it's two kinds in the area. One more famous than the other. I'll just leave it right there. But I said, if you don't leave me alone. I will expose them. I get like this YouTube stuff getting T out via YouTube. That's a slow come up. You know what I'm saying? So, look at this. This says AMTEC furnace, this air conditioning, dehumidification, geothermal boilers, Wi Fi force controls. Just put it on out there. And look, this is how you know they talking about this lady or this mark. This is a truck like hers in front of it. They spelling out a message here. I'm gonna make sure everybody know what Miss Ordis Martin. And I tell you, when I was working with her, she tried to intimidate me so much. My mom, she from all. Dude's nine. Then shot at her ex girl. I don't give a hoot, nanny. I don't care, lady. I will expose the heck out of you. You in my way. That's a truck like Orlando. She worked with these A-Rab people. As well, they, they all, it's community gang stalking, so turtle two turtles one is my uh, sister baby daddy they have all kind of look he works for the city he eat us the mind expert ex friend of mine Donna Moore baby daddy he just got out of jail 
said he killed my ex. I was part of some stuff. I don't know the story. It was like a hundred different Romans, and I think if he really did it, he probably would still be trying to just say, let's look at him. places like I mentioned one of the girls working at the courthouse her name Mimi Crawford matter of fact Mimi and Tyrone Crawford and Gag Paco's mom came to my job the other day she said she is in a state county I hate to hear it you know, before all this Okay. Thank you. Mm. You know, I just always knew her to be a cool person. I wouldn't wish any of this on anybody. She's younger than me. I'll be 36. She got to be 34, 35 experienced in this. So, it's just, it's just horrible to hear. So, thank you. I hate to hear it. A little bit of, um... And I pray she come out of it. I just um, also pray, you know, I pray a strength in her healing. I pray them out of my way. I've spoke on them before on her prior to me even finding out. Her mom came in my job the other day and said this to me because when she when I found out her name, you know, I'm like, oh, you must be cancer so and so. So she's like, yeah, whatever. And pray for me, me. You know, so, but I've mentioned their names to you all before and their involvement. Stephen Owens, call him Stevie G here, They're all from Centerville, you know. And like I said, I wouldn't wish this on a soul, but by all means, please leave me alone really that should be a focus like why your family still I, I, don't, I don't get it I, I do not get it period I don't get it how people have time for this these people been losing people you know left and right or folks falling ill how do you have time to still be so evil excuse me
just like, how do you still, like, I will be somewhere sitting my tail down. Um, I think God would allow us to go through certain things. He'll do it to, just to test you for no reason at all. He did that to Job. Job was perfect. But he also allows us to go through things to, to wake us up. To get some act right in our system. And it's just, it's mind boggling when people steady sowing bad seeds out here. They steady partaking in what is like the most evil thing ever that you could ever do. And I'm like, oh my God, y'all don't see the association. You don't see me going through this type of torment or turmoil. Cause I'm not out here sewing. So you don't see me going through that stuff and don't get mad and, and try to get even because I'm calling it out. I'm not lying, you know I'm not. And it's pressing to you. You get pressed. Crystal too, look. No. That's the lady who work at the store I just left. I know Crystal too. She spoke on enough. For me to know that. They're, they're spelling out messages, child. Infinity BB Mac Raz. So this is Mac Rab at the bottom. That's my cousin James. James Mac Rab. I guess that's the JM I've been seeing all the while. Um. Tisk tisk. All I can say is tisk tisk. When you come to that, baby, because we should be somewhere sitting down trying to do right in this life this way. And it's chill. Fight and I'm gay. Gay. That tastes like tea. That's upsetting. I hate tea. See what I can get done. I'm sure I'll talk to y'all later.